All right. Uh, my name is Pete Hybrids, and I'm a member of Portland Tenants United. Um, in January of 2015, uh, my longtime roommate and, and my friend, Jessica, died suddenly. Um, if she were still with us today, she'd be looking forward to her 30th birthday right now. Last time I saw her face was when a 911 operator was telling me to give CPR to her dead body. Less than three weeks later, my former landlord sent me a no-cause eviction notice. So, <laughs> sorry, I haven't told this story in public before. Needless to say, you know, I was devastated, I was traumatized, and any sympathy the landlords may have had didn't really last all that long. Um, when I asked that they fix up a room a bit to make it easier to rent and make a fresh start, they wasted no time in kicking me out. It happened about a week later. <sighs> Not only did I need to find a new place and leave my neighbors and friends and my community, I had to come up with money for move-in costs and double rent for February. Thanks to my family and friends, I was able to make it, but um, compared to a lot of other people, that makes me lucky. We need to require landlords to pay relocation fees to protect tenants from being displaced into homelessness. It could mean the difference for displaced and priced out tenants' survival, and it would provide a disincentive against landlords displacing our most vulnerable neighbors. It wasn't easy for me to decide to tell my story today, but I felt I had to do that to demonstrate the callous behavior that our lack of tenant protections allows right now. Thank you. Thank you. I don't have much more to add, but I'm getting to a solution, as folks have said. Without meaningful costs for landlords for displacing people, there is little to discourage them from casually and arbitrarily depriving our friends and neighbors of basic human need. Move-in costs are only a portion of the costs that tenants need to bear here, and we face disruption in all aspects of our lives. We leave holes in the neighborhoods we are forced out of. If landlords want to claim they are a part of our community, then they should be prepared to pay for the costs of their decisions and be accountable for the harm displacement causes our city. I hope we'll look back on today as the start of a new day for renting Portlanders, and this will only happen if we build on this policy with rent stabilization and end to no cause and a tenant's bill of rights. If we're going to call ourselves a sanctuary city, then we have to remember that sanctuary starts with a stable home for all of us.